Hey, what is up, you guys? Some racing streams here, bringing you guys the most anticipated video probably in my channel's history. So, finally bringing you guys after 11 months how to broadcast iRacing Part Three. So, I'm gonna show you guys the basics of IRTVO uh, and stuff like that. So. Um, things have kind of changed around here in the sim racing stream setup here. I'm pretty sure I have kind of retired from broadcasting. I've been really busy, so you can see I've been uploading eh, little quick clips of iRacing and stuff like that on the channel. But, um, what we are doing here is, uh, kind of show you guys the IRTV basics. And big shout out to Rudy Cummings, also known as Max Speed TV, for helping me out in getting IRTV up and running since I lost everything. So let's just dive right into the video. So uh, when you download RTVO, which there's going to be a new link for it because things have kind of changed, um, you just want to run this EXE, just hit run. Um, it's going to open up, just give it a couple seconds here to boot because there's a lot of stuff it's got to load. Um, so give it a minute here. Here it goes. So when you open it up, um, you're gonna have these two things right here. Just let this connect to the sim really quick. So uh, when you first boot up on the default theme, you can see that um, it says 21 laps remaining uh, and stuff like that. So that's kind of the basic stuff. So what you want to do here is I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little black line, and you want to make sure the inside of your window, like without the where the borders are, don't have those in there because it just makes the stream look really, really bad. So, uh, what you want to do first is hit a hide UI, so this hides the spacebar stuff, and even when you click on the sim, it doesn't, it only flashes it really quick. Um, also, another thing I want to do is hit auto-apply, so things change automatically. So, the first thing I want to show you guys is the drivers panel. So, hit click drivers, uh, and then this thing comes up right here. This thing is really cool. It shows the driver's speed in kilometers, um, as well as their last pit time, their fastest lap, so it's a really cool telemetry thing. And you can also double click on the driver to switch to the driver. So this is something you always want to have open, so if you want to switch to per first place, um, hit the P, and that or organizes it from first to last place. Just double click on that, and there you go. So that's kind of that. You can explore around with that here. Also, you have a bunch of buttons here. Um, so you have driver, so it shows the driver that I'm on right now in his last lap, I believe. Um, just hit driver again to hide it. Panel position, it shows the uh, position um, and stuff like that. Panel fast, it shows everyone's fastest lap. Panel preview, it shows everyone's previous lap. Uh, ticker, which is the, kind of the thing where it shows your standing, which is, you always want to have on. Results, um, it shows the results classification here, which is pretty cool. Just keep hitting it until it goes away. Um, um, and you got show flags, which is already on. Driver compare, which shows how far people are away from each other. So yeah, it's a really basic program, really easy to use, but it will take you a while to get to know it. So this is not something you can dive into instantly, but it will take a little bit of getting used to. Uh, anyways, guys, just wanted to bring you guys a quick little video here, kind of in depth with RTVO. I will link Max TV's channel down because he helped me out. I will link the new RTVO link down below uh, and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe if you liked it. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.